Yo, what up everybody? All right, in this video today, we are gonna talk about the subway as you can see on the screen. It's pretty obvious. One of the biggest questions I actually get asked on the comments in the YouTube videos, believe it or not, is about the subway metro system, its completion, and will it be a game changer? I've talked about this quite a few times in the past. I've given updates on the metro system since I've pretty much been here. If you don't know me, I'm a big metro system guy. Uh, I'm going to start doing videos on trying to get to like younger audience of like 20 to 32 year olds that maybe think that they really need to live the American model and buy a car and all this stuff when I think we should be going in the exact opposite direction. America, instead of worrying about EVs and all this stuff, really just needs to get um, massive mass transportation figured out, train systems, just these type of things that are working in other countries need to be applied in a much better scale in America and a much different thinking and or people need to just leave and go travel and live in other places. But yeah, the subway. So <clears throat> nobody thinks it's ever going to be done, but my resources tell me and from what I hear that I don't want to be out of frame here. We got a new camera angle, but my sources tell me that we're going to be good to go as far as uh, July. They're going to be running this thing from July on. So pretty much what I am told From July on, this thing's going to be fully functional. So they're talking about a station here. Ben Thon's station on Ho Chi Minh City's Saigon's first metro line, all set for commercial operations. The Ben Thon Underground Station in District 1, going down four floors and the largest and most modern on Saigon's metro line number one, is complete and awaits commercial operation. So you can see this from up top. We've seen this from up top before. I've filmed this in the live stream plenty of times. I'm still trying to figure out what we're going to do on the live streams. Uh, my alcohol intake is down by like almost 100%. I'm pretty much almost quit drinking. So um, to continue to quit drinking, I just haven't been out streaming. I feel that still I would probably just drink to stream. So yeah, it's financially not great for me not to stream. But uh, yeah, well. Once I figure it out, I want to travel somewhere, so I think we'll travel somewhere in Vietnam soon. Again, figuring all this out soon. We'll see what happens. <laughs> you know. Uh, so we're looking at the stations here. Click to flip the image. Let's see. Oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is the up top. And like I said, you can see this from outside right now. We've walked around it. So it's pretty cool. They got this image flip. If you want to go ahead and... So let's take a look here. I guess I'll, I'll continue to read it. Why not? We'll, we'll narrate this sucker all the way till the end. One of three underground stations on the Benthon Soy Tin route has been more or less completed and is awaiting handover before commercial operations began in July. The station, 236 meters long and 32 meters below ground, is the main one on line number one. Situated in front of the city's iconic Benthon Market, it will be in the interchange point in Metro's line 1, 2, 4, and 3A when the latter three are also built. A notable feature of the station is the 6 meter high skylight with a diameter of 21.6 meters and designed the shape of a lotus flower to provide natural light. The interiors have been completed with staircases around the skylight, tile floors, and greenery for landscaping to be added in the near future. The concourse allows passengers to have a direct view of Benton Market. So you can kind of get a a peek inside of the design of the subway here and in my opinion i think it looks uh very nice you know you have to remember they made this project with japan so tokyo does have when it's fully functional and they're not like sold out of their cards and and their modern system is working perfectly and even once you start to understand even how the old just buy a ticket per stop system works it's a great system so it should be straightforward because we only have one line. So I imagine anything to do with problems, you know. The first level below the crowd sprawls over 45,000 square meters. And we'll have waiting halls and ticket counters. A shopping mall spread over 18,100 square meters. And an under down, underground corridor, excuse me, and plaza covering 21,500 square meters. The station is predominantly white and has 174 aluminum-clad concrete columns. 
signs, directional lights, metro route indicators, and others are fully installed. My hope is that there's just a lot of signage. Um, I think Thailand's biggest problem in Bangkok is the lack of signage and follow through on their systems. Um, and almost the knowledge of pre-knowing how the system works is really rewarded there. Um, instead of just being open that you're gonna have a huge amount of people every day coming in that are tourists and they have no idea how to use this thing. Ticking, ticket vending machines and automatic fare gates have been installed and covered with yellow foam padding to ensure safety until official operations begin. The ticket control area has two inches divided into 16 lanes, including four wide ones for disabled people. Just in this area, counter staff will sell tickets directly or fix technical related to issues. So just like any subway system, if you don't know what you're doing, just go up to the booth and tell them where you're gonna go. They're gonna probably at first be a little rusty, but they'll probably get with the system. You know, We have <laughs> one more camera, the original Sony uh, EV10 or EV1. The original Sony black camera I'm getting repaired. The one camera I can't repair, just a quick, a quick, uh, If anybody has one of these Sony X three thousands and you're coming to uh, you're coming to Saigon, holler at your boy. I can't replace that camera out here. I can't find any. So if you got a Sony X three thousand and you're coming to Saigon, let me know. Anyways, an elevator leading down to the lower floors, the entire station. But what I was gonna say is, once we fix the black camera, which only needs a few things, it'll be a stationary camera. I just need to cut like a cog wheel and do some other stuff. I'm gonna have it over here, so we'll have two angles. Not that it really matters. It's just like a free second camera that can only do one stationary angle. The entire station is equipped with elevator, staircase, and escalators, all of which have been installed. So as you can see, like a typical subway, metro, you can take both. Oh, I think we had a flip photo over here. Yeah, so here's a flip photo. This is the, looks good. Looks like your typical elevator, like you see in any air, modern airport right now in Asia. Oh, I don't know if we want to get into this photo op, but, but let's go for it. So the train, also Japanese, looks nice. Modern, nice bench seating. Nice layout explaining the entire system it looks like there. Here's gonna be your shopping area, also looks nice. This reminds me of a Korea. So this reminds me of a Seoul type deal, which is cool. I'm all for it. Clear indication on the sign there of the metro system. Them cleaning. I mean, beautiful outside station. You know, you got beautiful Benton Market here. If you see, if you look over to the right where I'm sitting, where my head is, that's Benton Market. They are poised to uh, redo Benton Market. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. In the middle is the 19 whatever park. I forget what year, 83, 89, 82, 81, 70. Can't remember, my bad, I apologize. Terrible with that stuff. <clears throat> and then you had, to the left there, people ask me what this, this building is. Uh, People ask me what this is all the time, and this is gonna be the uh, hotel. It's gonna be a hotel, but now no one's got it. And then this is gonna be a complete look at the station thing. Let me, we'll take a look at that as we finish the article, because that's down there. We flip this, okay, we did that one. Here's a guy, elevator leading down the entire station is quick, but yeah, we read that. I mean, as, you can peek in here and look how nice these are. Look how stoked this guy is. Oh, this is one we clicked on. Nice, nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, this was the photo. So this is gonna be an outline look on the entire thing, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I am super excited for this thing because it's gonna give me great access to pretty much on foo and, and on. Like I haven't even been to that Soy Tan amusement park It'll give me access to the Saigon High Tech Park. I don't know what's gonna really be there, but I mean, it's gonna give us exploration to all these points that I wasn't really willing to drive. Uh, to go from where this thing starts, pretty much, to Thuduk, so, let me show you. To pretty much go from like here, Bossan, where I live, Bossan. To pretty much go from Bossan all the way to Thuduk on a bike, man. Easily in an hour with 
a moderate traffic. You can get there in 45. I met a guy on the bus that's taking it, a subscriber. Shout out, dude. If I get the time wrong, but I think he said 48 minutes. 45 to 48 minutes. He actually lives out in uh, the Vin Holmes 9 project. He said it's nice, so shout out to you. People give me their information, and I gather their Zalos and stuff, and I forget to hit them back, so I truly apologize um, if I don't hit you back or if I hadn't. I'm going to try to be better about that. It's a character flaw I have, so apologies. Please don't... Uh, don't hate me. But I think the subway is going to open this up to be probably 30 minutes, 35. What did it say? 36 minutes? It kept changing. I don't have an exact time, so I'm not even going to throw a time out there. But if it's anywhere from 25 to 36 minutes to get the Thuduk or like the Bin Thai, I'm down, dude. That's going to be sick. So overall, I think it 100% is going to meet the July date. I want to be on there one of the first days. So, of course, look to my channel. I will be on this subway day one. Once we we're able to ride it, I'm super stoked for it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it answered some of the questions. We are going to be opening the subway. There is no talks of a delay. It's full go on July. You see them working on it. They've removed all the barriers almost everywhere where it's at. So I think from what I can tell, it's full steam. As ever, I'll keep you updated. Thank you for watching. There is a Patreon if you want to check it out. There is me streaming at kick.com if you want to check that out. All the stuff is in the description. As ever. Stay frosty. Have a good day, night, morning, whatever you're doing.